Hey guys, Crystal here at Crystal's Crafties, and today I wanted to show you how to upload a JPEG or a PNG into Cricut Design Space. Uh, just make sure that you have permission to use whatever photo you're using. You don't want to be breaking any copyright or trademark laws. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is come over to your left toolbar, click Upload. And then you'll select Upload Image. And from here, you can either browse or drag and drop. Um, I'm going to go browse for my image. And let's see here. There she is. I'm going to be using this outlet from PJ Masks. So I select the image and I click open. And it's going to bring her into Cricut Design Space. You have some choices once you get here. You can select simple, moderately complex, or complex. Most of your images are either going to be simple or moderately complex. Owlette is pretty simple. She's got a few different colors and a, a good definition between this white behind her and the image that we actually want to use. So I'm going to select simple and you're going to notice it's going to turn this white part pink. Okay, and then I'm going to click continue. So the first thing I want to do is click in here and get rid of all of this pink behind Owlet. When you see these blue and white checkers, that means that the background, the white, is gone and it's a transparent background now. So if I hit continue, you'll see over here in your cut, um, this one is if you were going to print the image, this is if you want to cut it. You'll see that in the cut it's just Owlet's outline. Um, sometimes that's okay, but sometimes you're going to want a little more detail. So if you want some more detail in that, click back and start um, erasing some more of Owlette. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to erase these pink parts of her mask. I'm going to erase these pink parts of her eye. And I'm going to erase this um, tan on her mouth. Now I'm just going to hit continue and see what that looks like. So there's the print, but again, we're, we're more concentrated on the cut. Um, she's not, not at all where I want her to be yet. She looks a little more like Owlette, but that's still not, it's not great. So I'm going to hit back. Um, I think I want a little more definition on her eyes. So I'm, I'm debating on what to do with her eyes. But I do know for sure that I want to get rid of this pink on her chest plate and I want to get rid of all of this pink in her wings. So I'm just clicking all the little areas of pink. Oh, now I clicked, um, I clicked a line instead of the pink. I clicked a black line so it took out everything black. That's okay. Just hit undo and keep going. But because that happened, I'm going to zoom in and make sure that I only get the pink right there. Okay, now I'm just going to keep clicking this pink to get it all out. I'm going to zoom her back out. I don't need her to be that big anymore. Okay, um, let me click. I just, I don't know what I want to do with her eyes yet. No, I know I don't want to do that. Okay, I'm going to hit continue and see what I've got now. That's a little better. That's not too bad. I, I am still going to do a little something with her eyes because I'm just not very happy with it yet. I'm going to take out maybe the red part of her eyes. And hit continue and see what that gets me. Okay, that looks a lot better. Um, I'm kind of wishing I had reversed it, but it would take a lot of back clicking to get it all reversed, um, or I might just have to re-upload the image. So I'm going to go with what I've got here. I'm going to select the cut image because that's what I'm wanting to use in my design, and I'm going to hit save. Okay, so it's pulled my outlet into all of my other uploaded images. 
So to get it into my project, I'm going to select the image and hit insert image. And in just a second, there she is. So now Owlette is in my Cricut Design Space. She's on my project that I'm working with. And I can come over here to her layers. I can select her little color box over here. And I can turn her red. And you see she's all red now, which is probably what we would do with this. And all of this white stuff is what you would weed out. And you would just leave the red. Um, you can see her, her cut lines, they're kind of outlined in black. But if I turn her over to a print, you can see exactly what she will look like when you put her on your final product. The print, once it finally does it, has removed your cut lines. So that's a pretty decent image there. And that's all you do. That is how you get a JPEG or a PNG uploaded into Cricut Design Space.